I hate I hate talking about the remake because first of all I don't think it'll ever happen and second of all I think it's gonna be absolute garbage but sometimes I like to dream about an actual remake that would be good <laughs> oops I meant the rest um, and uh, it would be cool if, if scenes like this in the remake like what what they could do with something like this it would be cool to uh, find a way to like I don't know make this more uh, I mean I, I don't know I to me it's hard it's hard for me to talk about the Final Fantasy 7 remake because, because to me this game is perfect you know like to me there's nothing that can that can really like make the experience better like just because they put in some like creepy thing or something like wouldn't make it better to me because I think just the white text with the black background and the music is like creepy enough like look Seymour just ran away that's how creepy it is <laughs> but like yeah like to me that that does it for me like I don't need there to be like a like a movie of cloud with a bloody face or something but it would be cool if the remake did something like that an interesting fact about Final Fantasy 7 that I never knew until I made the uh, materia guide video is uh, if you have if for some reason you actually have max materia at this point which would be really hard to do um, but, like, you would have to grind for a really long time and buy enough materia to max out your entire list. But if somehow you do max out your materia, um, they actually put in, like, a failsafe for the Shiva materia. It doesn't just disappear. Um, she actually says, like, oh, you have no room for this. And then she puts it on her bed in her room. So you can go, like, sell a materia and then go up there and grab it. Which is interesting. It's interesting that they even thought of that, because there's like no way you should have max materia at this point. Ah, oh, crap. I'm alone. This causes problems. You always wonder why your bed had a ladder on it? Yeah, that's why. You have to climb up there and get it. Who talks to Cloud in his conscience? It's hard to say. Um, it's either Genova or um, Cloud himself, like Zack. Um... But it's it's hard to really say. Genova doesn't make a lot of sense because Genova talks he talks about Tifa, and I don't think Genova would have any any care about Tifa. So I don't think it's Genova. I think it's Cloud and Zack. Well, not actually Zack, but like Cloud and then Cloud's alter ego with uh, Zack fighting in his head. That's the best answer I can come up with. But it's not for certain. No one knows for sure. But it would make sense that it's Cloud arguing with himself. But it could also be Genova. It's possible. But I don't think it is. Because Genova wouldn't really talk about Tifa. He doesn't care about Tifa. So how much is it going to cost? 4000 Uh, that's gonna be a little hard to get. I don't think I can get this peace ring. I don't think I can make four, two thousand bucks very easily. Let's see how much a random battle gives me. And I'm gonna have to do it with just cloud too. I mean, technically, it can't be cloud, or it can't be Zach. If it is Zach, then it's just clouds, like 
alter ego Zack. It's not actually Zack. Zack isn't inside Cloud's head. Zack is dead. But it could be Cloud's alter ego Zack. Which would still be Cloud, but... Yeah, others would be the easiest way, and I have a lot of them. So I guess I could do that. Don't kill me. Oh, the silence. Jerk. Makes sense to me it's young cloud is when you're past the temple of the ancients, it's young cloud that stays while cloud is running towards the Nova Sephiroth to get into the black material. That's an interesting idea. I never really thought young cloud was anything other than just younger cloud during the flashback. But they do use young cloud's model a lot to show when cloud's going like crazy, young cloud will usually like appear. So could be. Could definitely be. I need to remove Yuffie from this list. By the way. Peace ring. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, whenever I reset the chat, like the chat height. The chat disappears. Unfortunately, I got a flyer and then a defender down there, which kind of screws things up. But hopefully, they kill him. Alright. Test against Berserk, Fury, Sadness, and Confuse. That's pretty dang good. Kind of sucks that it uh, protects against sadness, but...
Yeah, I agree with Erythium. I think that's the best the best answer. Is it's young Cloud arguing with the Zack Cloud saying like, hey, we used to be cool and stuff. Honestly, I think that's the, like the definitive answer unless someone else like proves it wrong because that that would make the most sense for the plot. Crap! Don't bolt me. Don't bolt me. I should save. It's a little scary. Oh, that's true. If you put it on before you put on the ring, then it's like perma sadness. That's even better. That's even better. Oop, I didn't mean to defend. Why don't you have a PHS? It takes it away here because you're supposed to go up to Junon, upper Junon alone. saying that there's actually like a trigger right here when you get the whistle you'd have to like walk back out it's really silly so I've heard that if you just smash the square button you just automatically do this is that true if you just don't move Yeah. Everyone's like, yes, wait, no, wait, yes. It's it's really funny how every single minigame in this game could be cheesed. Every single one. The Fort Condor minigame could be cheesed if you buy stuff in a line. The motorcycle game can get cheesed if you just uh, attack constantly and get three red motorcycles. That can be cheesed if you just hit square twice. The chocobo racing can basically get cheesed if you uh, hold down L1 and R1 or whatever it is and you get the stamina boost you really can't lose. Alright, snowboarding is the one thing you can't cheese. That's that's true. Snowboarding is difficult no matter what. And this stuff you actually can't cheese either. This stuff, uh you gotta do it. You gotta you just gotta do it. I mean, you can't lose the the regular snowboard, but like the the one in um, the the actual like arcade mini game at the Golden Saucer, you can lose. Well, you can't really lose, but you can get crappy times. To get the good times, you just gotta do it. I'm really glad that the any percent speedrun doesn't have this part. This part's like the most boring part for me, I guess. I like this part when I play it when I played it the first time and when I play it like 
for the story and whatnot. But when I'm doing like mods or just trying to rush through the game for whatever reason, this part's like really drags on for me. Because I guess like this part is really establishing Shinra. But Shinra is so already established in my mind that I really don't need any of this to show me. It's like, whoa, look at the big, look how big it is and crazy and look how corrupt it is and everything. But it's like, I already know, so. You can't cheese the ancient forest, but if you know how to do it, you can do it real fast. If, like, you know what to do. Well, 100 plus reward is uh, HP plus, right? I like HP plus a lot. HP plus is really, like, helps in a lot of different ways. Alright, this part I suck at. I'm really good at the Rufus thing. But I suck at this. I can never do this part. Oh, 16 and 90 is HP plus? Crap. I know that. Maybe I should get that. I guess I could get the Force Stealer. Uh. <laughs> the heck was that guy doing? Yeah, I did bad. I got a freaking grenade. Absolute rip. What? Urban got McDonald's without me? Not a single rating was had that day. Not a single percentage point was given that day. I think it's because I, I ran into the line. Dude, I want 5k gil. I still don't know really what, like, you're supposed to do there. Are you supposed to, like, get your gun to, like, match theirs? Or are you supposed to just, like, mash circle? I'm guessing you're supposed to make it match, but it never seems to work right. I don't know. I truly don't get it. I've never, I don't think I've ever gotten more than 30 doing that. You're supposed to get in line as fast as possible, then mash. Yeah, like, the problem is I ran in front of him. That's why I did so bad there. So you're really supposed to mash something? That's so stupid. I always thought I was supposed to match them. No wonder I always get a bad raid. Should I try it again? I'm gonna try it again. I'm I'm really curious now to where I c if I can like do it well. Now that everyone's talking about it, and we only got 30 minutes left anyway, so we'll probably end after June on. So, oh, what did I do? What have I done? Mash the square button. Well, the circle button is what makes you, like, move your your gun. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I can do, like, maybe I'll mash both. <laughs> That's, like, so stupid. I find it so stupid that, like, you're mashing the button. Like, could you imagine, like, if this happened in real life, like there was all these soldiers marching in line, like perfectly matched, and then like one soldier comes along and he's like, oh, we need good ratings. How are we gonna get good ratings? So like all the other soldiers are like, are like doing their gun like this, and then this one soldier comes and he's like, gotta get good ratings, 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 gotta get those good ratings, gotta get that 5K, gotta get those good ratings. That's that's basically what we're doing.
That's basically what Cloud does. That's a beautiful thing. You can just hit square twice. I'm not drunk. I'm trying to get good ratings. That's how you get, That's how you get good ratings. The same could go for my stream. I could just if I just sit here and mash buttons, I'll get good ratings. Look at my viewer count going up. I can feel Twitch partnership. It's coming. Just got to mash that button. <laughs> yeah. Here you understands. The more mashing, the more ratings. Can you go back to the save point? I was wondering that. Because, like, the soldier doesn't let you walk over to the save point before the training. So I thought that meant you could never save here. But can you, like, go back and save? Actually, I have saved here before. I guess I just forgot. Don't. Don't judge me. Run in between them until you're in position. And you, they'll walk through you. Well, before I was like, I was like running into them. So I'm not sure if that's the best way. It's gotta be that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. What's up, Subsonics? What's up, Avatar? How's it going, dude? the message box. I guess that makes sense. So like wait. Was I supposed, like, because I was letting go of walk, like, I mashed too fast? Now, come on. I thought I had to mash as hard as possible, dude. I thought the more mash, the better. I 
gotta want I need to see like a video of someone doing it. Then I would like understand. Okay, so you mash like a little slower, I think. I think I see how it's done. I think I see how it's done. Welcome to Final Fantasy VII Marching Mechanics. <laughs> I feel like an idiot running around in the freaking suit. I did it! Now I gotta do better. <laughs> it, do it can't end here. It can't end here. I gotta do better than that. I totally get it now. It's like a, it's like a rhythm. You can like hear it. You can hear it. It's like boom, boom. Boom. Like every time the text box goes, you like hear the rhythm. You just you just stick with the rhythm. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Thanks for the host, Lord Kellyan. And before I never get it again. That was just a fluke. I'll never get it again. Yeah, but I have to beat Mendo's score. I can't I can't I can't leave until I beat Mendo's score of fifty five. Calling it now, 60%. 60%. Everyone, everyone thought it was impossible. Call me Kim Possible, because it's possible. 100% or nothing. There isn't even enough. There isn't even enough places for 100% to go, but I'm gonna do it. percent failure. <laughs> Fifty-eight! Oh that was so close. Alright, I beat I beat Mendo. It's good enough. It's good enough, I beat Mendo. Yeah, that was like perfect. I kind of dropped it. I kind of dropped it in the middle there for a second. If I hadn't dropped it, it would have been 60. I mean, I'll do it again if you want to see that 60. I'll do it. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'll do it. You think, you think I sat here for 8 hours on Wednesday playing the same thing on... Crash Bash and I won't do this for like 40 minutes to try to get 60%. Apparently you don't know me very well. You don't know Death Unites Us very well if you don't think I'll sit here for like 4 hours doing this parade. For a absolutely no reason. No, no better prize. 
I'll sit here all day and do stupid, <laughs> stupid, stupid march crap. Darth Unity Bus Marching Simulator. <laughs> Straw pole to do it. Alright, let me do this and save, and then I'll go back to that save and do it. But I gotta at least get a save to finish off the hardcore mod for the day. It's gonna get steam green greenlit. <laughs> you can just spin in a circle and still pass. Yeah, Rufus doesn't doesn't uh doesn't think a thing while you're just sitting there spinning around in a circle. This is hard to do on PC. It's a much much easier to do it on console because it shows you the button, you know, like X, circle, triangle, instead you get like switch, okay, cancel. Should I go to any of the shops? The shops still sell stuff, right? Yo! Rude, is that you? get seal materia and revive materia I might honestly just buy those two things and call it good you know what I want another restore materia too I've been sitting here with two for way too long Stop with the alarm! I could go talk to the, the Turks, but no. Oh, it's a soldier! Welcome to my humble shop! I still need more Phoenix Town. Sell my others for Phoenix Downs. Wait, there's an enemy skill in the base? Oh yeah, down here, right? Thanks, boys. We got that soldier, boys. We're in there. Enemy skill is one of the best materia, and I never use it. <laughs> I am the worst. I never use enemy skill. I'm such a pleb. I literally just never use enemy skill. I never did when I was a kid. I still never do. Not napping on duty. What kind of soldier you think I am? Nope. Never used White Wind. Never used Big Guard. All the all the super OP enemy skills. I just never use them. 
Yeah, this guy sucks. He sells stuff for like... Well, he sells stuff for the already yeah. But he's got the hot chick, so... I guess it's all good. But at least there isn't like a bunch of expensive stuff that I want. I pretty much have everything I want, so that's nice. Big Guard sucks in this mod? Good, because I wasn't going to use it anyways. There's another soldier over here. These things are so, like, secretive and you gotta do nothing. Now this guy is the one that sucks. He's got like nothing. Nothing. What's up Cosmic Beast 13? Welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy. If you have any questions about my stream, feel free to ask me or a mod. Let's go show off my awesome march skills as I probably blow this. standing there, right? Yeah, I kind of want the HP plus material, to be honest. Maybe I should redo it and get the HP plus material. I don't remember how good the Force Dealer is, but either way, it's like I'd rather have the HP plus material because I can give it to anyone. I also don't know if he nerfed the HP plus materia, because he might have. Oh, nice. And then you can do a little jig. <laughs> Cloud, what are you doing? Cloud, what are you doing? Bob, what are you doing? Bob, what are you doing? <laughs> this looks pretty funny too. It looks like he's hopping around. Yeah, the Force Stealer isn't even that great. It's got double, but... Yeah, I think I'll get HP plus material instead. It's way more useful. I need to see 
cloud derp around some more. Derp derp derp. Derp 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 I love how Red 13 watches this whole thing. Cloud, what are you doing? What's up, Alex? How's it going? Should have shot the president when you had the chance. I don't know if the guns are loaded. Usually when you do parades, you don't just load the guns, but knowing Shinra, they probably they're probably all loaded. We actually took control of Red 13 and danced around. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> it's me. Reset. Trank down. Trank down. Yeah, I should check the, the HP plus. Huh? Looks the same. That that seems like it's gonna be really broken because the HP plus materia is really good. Like, you can really beat a lot of bosses just because of the HP plus material. But, we'll see. It looks like it, it might take a little longer to master. I'm not sure. Because <laughs> you would rather be in sadness. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Alright. Well, this will be the end of the hardcore mod for today. Maybe I'll try to get the 60% in a minute. <laughs> while we do the straw poll or something. But uh, thanks for coming. I appreciate it a lot. 
thanks to everyone on YouTube watching this. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you next time for some more Hardcore Mod. Remember that there's only going to be two episodes this week and next week. Um, because I'm going on vacation. And then it will continue to be four episodes in the future. But there'll be t only two the next two weeks because of vacation. But thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it a lot. I love you. See you next time for more Hardcore Mod action. Featuring Darth Unity bus and crew.